Hey guys, it's Brian and Ari here. And in this video, I'm just gonna talk about my company, Ari's Marketing Solutions, and what exactly we focus on, okay? So we focus on website design and search op engine optimization and paid advertising. So we drive traffic to websites, then we wanna make sure that the website is actually converting. So here I've got web design. Now, I know it's backwards, we're on a whiteboard, but it's okay. I'll leave all the notes down in the description and I'm also gonna come up with a webinar. So I'm gonna be able to actually guide you guys and tell you exactly about our services. So if you're looking to hire our agency, you can hire us or we might even include um, a, a program where you can actually learn how to do what we're doing. If you have your own agency, if you wanna build websites for different companies and make decent money doing it, you can do that, but most people just wanna hire us to take on the job, so that's what we do. <coughs> so, sorry about that. So, with a web design, we wanna focus on having the home page, right? Typically, they have a home page, an about page, services, right? Contact us. Okay, and then there's also gonna be like privacy policy, um, terms of service, stuff like that, that are usually shown in the, in the footer area of your website. But we wanna focus mainly on the homepage and what we do is we focus on building out the homepage and then from there, we make all the other pages on the website very similar, right? We want the whole website to flow. We don't want every page looking different. So we start with the homepage, we design and develop all the HTML, all the JavaScript, all the CSS, everything looks good from a front end developer standpoint, um, right out to the user experience is perfect every single time. So I wanna focus on that. We wanna make sure that when we're driving traffic to our website, so traffic being online traffic from YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Google search, right? These are all free methods, but it takes a lot of work. So we do organic as well. I also do organic on you know, my Instagram page, starting to do more YouTube, LinkedIn, where I'm on TikTok now. So I'm trying to put out content organically so it can relate good with my paid advertising, right? Because you want to be doing both. Um, so we want to drive traffic, but then when we're driving traffic to your website, we want to drive it typically to the homepage or to a landing page, right? So typically I wanna send people to a page that has a form, right? So this is an opt-in form. So I'm sure you guys have heard of this opt-in, right? So what are they gonna get? Are they gonna get a free guide? Are they gonna book their call? That's what I do, okay? So I get people to come to my website, they fill out a form, and then from there they get a link to my calendar account where they can schedule a call with me, right? So it's really valuable, they can press submit, and then. I get to understand their business better because then they check off web design, then they check off that they need search engine optimization or paid ads management, right? So then I'm able to actually get on a call that works for both of us, that works for me, that works for the new potential client. We set aside time, find out more about their business, and if we can help them, great. If we can't, that's okay too. We advise that everybody we're working with has at least 500 dollars in ad spend at a bare minimum, right? Because we want to work with established companies and even if you're just starting out, you know, commit. Say I'm gonna spend five hundred dollars, thousand dollars, fifteen hundred, whatever that number is when you're first getting started. Have that set aside to grow your business and have that set aside to drive the traffic and attention to your offer, right? Because then you're gonna be able to multiply your money and grow your business to the next level. So we're gonna get people to opt in, right? So if you have a plumbing company, you wanna have, we, have, we wanna work with you to structure your ad copy and then have it align with your website. So when people go to your website, they know exactly what they're getting. Maybe it's a coupon code. Um, if you're a home builder, we have some home builder clients as well. Dealerships is a really good one because people wanna get approved for financing and people want lower financing rates. So there's a ton of different things you can do and then making sure that when people are going to either the home page with the form or your landing page if they're going to a landing page we actually want to hide 
all of these pages. And there's a reason for that, right? Because if we're sending traffic to a landing page, we don't want people to get distracted. We just want them to fill out the form. We want to collect the lead, but we want to be able to track that. So we set up the Facebook ad pixel. Right? And I actually have tools that show me when you guys put in your website, I don't know if you're already using a Facebook ad pixel or not. And if you're not, you should be. Because this way, every time we get traffic to the website, we can then retarget them on Google Display, YouTube, Facebook again. So this is so, so powerful. And this is actually where the money is made. So we actually have an online store as well. And we're not profitable on the front end, right? We're selling lower ticket items, most expensive items, like $79, $89. So where we actually make the money is on the retargeting because we'll break even, right? We'll spend uh, 40 bucks or 70 bucks, whatever it is. It's always like we're breaking even on the front end campaigns, but it's actually the retargeting that says, hey, you almost checked out. Like reaching back out to the people on Facebook that already know, like, and trust your business now and getting them to come back, giving them an additional promotion, an additional reason to finish their order. So that's what we want to do for local businesses, service businesses. We will online stores. We've done Google shopping ads, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, and YouTube ads for all the above for the service businesses and online stores. So we want to help you guys do that. And it, it's super valuable. So this is how you grow your business. So people are gonna come there, they're either gonna opt in, they're gonna book a call. Um, and if you have an online store, they're gonna go directly to the product page. Now, when they buy your $39 product, $39.99, what's gonna happen? We're gonna have a one-time upsell. So as soon as they add that to cart, it's gonna be like, but wait, most people, that buy this item also buy this item, right? So you can give them an additional discount, say 10%, 15% off their second order that they combine with that 39. So now instead, maybe the product costs the same price, but the second product is only gonna be $29.99 now, if they do it now, it's a one-time offer, right? So this is actually upping the average order value of your customers, right? Because you're, you're actually, making them spend 39, but now instead they're, they're spending 59.99. So it's upping the average order value and then making sure that email marketing is set up, everything is set up properly. When people are buying a product, the follow-up is there, everything is there. We wanna help you guys be able to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just a quick one. Uh, I know you can't really see the whiteboard, but I'm gonna leave the notes in the bottom. Be sure to click the link Book your, book your scheduled call with me. We can get on the phone and learn more about your business and how we can help you guys grow and scale to the next level with custom websites, landing pages, and done for you advertising, SEO, and Google Maps marketing. So I hope you guys like this and we'll see you on the next one.